Barry, congratulations. On paper, you were the standout favourite for that one, but I saw Matt Sell at the qualifiers and he was really up for this match, so you finished that and closed the job really well. Yeah. Um, Matt's quite a confident chap, you know, so um, he wouldn't have been worrying about playing me, I should imagine, and... Uh, yeah, no, so I was delighted to, you know, the scoreline probably f flatters me a little bit, but although, having said that, I finished off strongly tonight and didn't give him much chance at all, really, you know, the last few frames. So, um, yesterday could have been a bit different, nicked a few frames from behind. It could have easily been a lot closer, and I could have easily been behind, you know, 5-4 behind or something. So, you know, to, to get out 6-3 yesterday was, um, I was over the moon with that, and um, I was determined to concentrate hard tonight and, and play well, really. And I guess in the darkest recesses of your mind, you were conscious that it took you all the way to a decider from 7-2 down six years ago. Mm. So you knew that if the balls went his way, he had the opportunity to put you under pressure. Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, when he come back at me that couple of years ago, he, he played fantastic, you know, he was putting long balls, having centuries here, there and everywhere. And, um, you know, I was like, it was unbelievable match in the end, really, to get through that one. So, yeah, I, I was ne not taking anything for granted at 6-3 up. I knew if he, he come out and had a go at me, you know, it could get a, bit, a little bit twitchy. So, um, yeah, I managed to nick that first frame again, really. He was in first, broke down, and I managed to make a decent little break and potted a good long red, second to last red, and um, nicked that one, and then it just settled me down, and I was I was away then, really. So, um, yeah, you can't take anyone for, for granted, really. And it seems as though you're clicking at exactly the right time because you had a couple of really tight last 16 defeats before Christmas. Mm. But starting off with the German Masters, getting to the semis there, semis of the players' champ, semis of the tour champs, you're producing your best snooker at exactly the right time of the season. Um, well, it, it looks like that, I suppose. Um, I didn't, obviously, you don't plan how it's going to go. You just turn up and try and play your best in every tournament. Um, but like you say, I lost quite a few last 16s, but against top quality opponents, I lost, to, I lost one to nil. Lost one to Kyron, 4-3, you know, and um, I let him have that one. He, he fluked to red in the last frame. I made a big break. So, yeah, was, that was a sore one to lose as well. <laughs> like the Murphys, cool. you're not bitter. I know, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, I lost to Sean in, in in one quite late on. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough, especially against them short in them short matches. You don't get much breathing space at all. So, um, yeah, no, to get to them semis and them three big tournaments was obviously, it's obviously pleasing and um, obviously good for the ranking as well. Massive match now against Karen Wilson and you had an epic two years ago. And Is that a match that you feel kind of slipped away from you? I think you were, what, 6-1? You had a really sizeable lead in that match and, and he clawed his way back. Yeah, I think I was 6-2, but I played unbelievable the first the first session. I can't remember how many centuries we had, but um played really well. And then not so well the second session, but I only lost that 5-3. And then in the last session, you know, I didn't do that much wrong. I can remember it was a great game and... Um, Kyron played some unbelievable balls and um, made some fantastic breaks. Um, so it, I don't I wouldn't say it was one that I let slip. Um, he played he played really well, and it was just just one of them things. So um, you know I'm gonna have to play play as good if not better, you know, to get through get through this one. It's going to be a fantastic occasion, and and yeah, you know, when you look on paper, you're one of the most consistent crucible performers over the last ten years since you made that final in thirteen. Semi-final after semi-final, quarter-final, haven't lost a, mm. a first-round match for a few years. You're, you're the kind of guy that if you get on a roll here, you're dangerous. Yeah, it seems to, it seems to be that way. Um, it's just all about confidence, you know. It's just, if you've got a bit of confidence behind you and you start playing well, then you can get on a little bit of a roll. Um, and, that's, and it's how you handle it out there. It's, it's huge, really. It's, it's, it's obviously nice when you're playing well. Um, but it's the toughest place in the world, you know, if you if you start struggling and it's a, it's how you get out of them sessions really. If you it's like damage limitation really. If you're if you're struggling and you can get out all square or you know, or just a five free session or something like that and, and, and just be in in the match, you know, that's it can make all the difference. But you know, if you can have a few spurts where you play very well in a few sessions, um, obviously then you're dangerous then.